everyone. I'm Kara Minowy. This is Shell Point Today for Wednesday, March 5th. On today's show, we visit the Shell Point Library, where their operation depends on your support to succeed. Shelley Rogerson of Beltone Hearing Aids describes what signs to look for that hearing loss is affecting your life. We'll also head out to the brand new LifeQuest Aquatic Center, which featured a ribbon cutting and tour last week. But first, a heads up for all you green thumbs and art lovers out there. You've likely seen the cartoons of Doug McGregor in the news press and at Health Park. He has a fascinating presentation called Nature's Patterns as Reflected in Our Gardens. Come see how the worlds of nature and art combine at the Shell Point Garden Society. They meet at 11 a.m. in the Oak Room and all are welcome. And then tomorrow, two events you need to know about. Ray Boyce continues his Academy series on Shakespeare, celebrating his 450th birthday. We've talked about his tragedies and tragic comedies. Now Ray focuses on Shakespeare's histories, such as Julius Caesar or Richard III. Sign up for the Shakespeare History class, taking place tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the Grand Cypress Room at the Woodlands. And tomorrow night, enjoy a free concert from the Bay Singers. This community choir from Bonita Bay has prepared a program called Sing, 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 and every song will have the word sing in it. Pretty clever, right? You'll love the sounds of this entertaining choir performing tomorrow at 7.15 p.m. in the church auditorium. It's a free concert and all are welcome. Now we are pleased to make an announcement about Shell Point's case managers. These are the people you talk to when you are considering moving into assisted living or elsewhere, or if you encounter financial or other issues, or if you just need someone in your corner on a sensitive issue. Everyone at Shell Point has a case manager, and it's determined by which court you first moved in. We recently expanded our team of case managers, so listen closely to find out who your case manager is. If you live in Royal Bonnet, Junonia, Sundial, Rosemont, or the Eagles Preserve buildings of Mockingbird, Heron, or Ibis, your case manager is Angie Pritchard, 454-2134. If you live in Coquina, Harbor Court, Palm Acres, Oakmont, or the Eagles Preserve buildings of Spoonbill, Kingfisher, Osprey, or Egret, your case manager is Sandy Weber, 225-2929. If you live in Cameo, Solana, Lucina, Parkwood, or the Eagles Preserve buildings of Sandpiper or Curlew, your case manager is Jennifer Liepert, 454-2101. If you live in Sand Dollar, Periwinkle, Nautilus, Lakewood, the Eagles Preserve Building of Pelican, or the future neighborhood of the estuary, your case manager is Caitlin Carroll, 454-8246. And finally, if you live in Macoma, Teledora, or Turban, your case manager is Janine Hammond, 454-2186. Now keep in mind, your case manager stays with you even if you move into assisted living. If you move permanently to the pavilion, then the pavilion's resident and family services team takes over. Once again, these are your Shell Point case managers. If you have any questions about them, call Resident Support Services at 454-2299. There are times when we need an objective third party to give us life advice. This also holds true for your hearing. Many people say, oh, I hear just fine, but don't realize that their hearing has begun to negatively affect their life. When do you take action? Find out from Shelley Rogerson of Beltone Hearing Aids as she presents Hearing Health coming up next Wednesday, March 12th at 1015 in the Social Center. Mary Franklin has this preview. Are you aware of your hearing health? Is your wife always saying, honey, honey, or you can't hear the waitress? Well, this will be an important presentation for you. It will take place on Wednesday, March 12th at 10.15 a.m. in the Social Center, and it will be with Shelly Rogerson from Bell Tone Hearing talking about your hearing aid options. So, Shelly, how do you know it's time for a hearing aid? Well, that's what we'll go over, some of the symptoms that come on, you know, comes on gradually over time and often goes unnoticed. So we'll go over some of the symptoms and which symptoms should alert you to it's time to actually go and get your hearing tested. Right. So it's not always just that you can't hear a loved one or you're having a hard time 
just hearing one specific person, but sometimes you could be in a large crowded area and instead you're hearing the background noise instead of the presenter, correct? Right, a lot of times people complain of background noise or struggle specifically with women or children's voices, or maybe people tell you that you, you know, play the TV too loud, mm -hmm. or you start trying to bluff your way, you know, trying to answer a question that you really didn't understand, so it can get uncomfortable. So we'll go over some of those symptoms and when you should get your hearing tested. Mm -hmm. And then once you get your hearing tested, you'll have a lot of options for them regarding their hearing aids if they need it. Right, we'll go over different styles and technology and help it make you know a step-by-step -step process to find out what's best for their specific lifestyle and budget. Okay, and getting a hearing aid is very specific to your needs and what, what you have. I'm not going to receive the same thing that you may need. And so you really do take the time to do questions and answers at the end. Do you, you encourage that, correct? Right, that's really important because if you have a specific question to get an answer and you know finding out sometimes why your neighbor's hearing aid isn't the right hearing aid for you to make sure you're getting this right thing for your type of loss. Okay. Well, Shelly, we really appreciate all you do here at Shell Point. You're up at the Arbor. Uh, what days are you at the Arbor? I'm usually there Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. Okay. And you can call for an appointment so you don't get stuck waiting or anything. So. Okay. Well, thanks again for making a presentation in the Health Connection. And if Thank you would you. like to, and if you would like to sign up, you can do so at either service desk. The presentation is Wednesday. March 12th at 10.15 a.m. in the Social Center. I'm Mary Franklin with Shelley Rogerson. Make it a happy and healthy day. Whether you're looking for books, audiobooks, large print, or DVDs, the Shell Point Library has something for you, more than 8,000 volumes worth. And they're all free with your Shell Point Library card. Of course, even with a completely volunteer-operated library, resources are needed to purchase the latest bestsellers. That's why the Library Fund Drive gives you a once-a-year opportunity to support the Shell Point Library and its worthwhile mission of keeping the community informed and entertained. The Library Fund Drive starts today and runs through March 19th. Melody Desolé tells us more. Hi Shell Point, I'm Melody Desolé. We're part of the Volunteer Corner and we're outside in the Administration Circle right off the lagoon on the island in front of the Resident Activity Center. The reason we're telling you all this is because this is where the library actually is located and this is where our fun drive will start. Well, Shell Point, after that short walk, we made it into the library, which is located in the Resident Activity Center. Now, Marilyn, tell us the purpose of this little TV segment. Why are we here today? <laughs> We're here today to ask the residents to continue their support for the Shell Point Library, which is the Residence Library. Tell me more about that. What does that mean, Residence Library? The library is totally funded by the residents. The library is totally staffed by the residents. Everything you see here has been selected by the residents. It is processed by the residents and it is a private library so the residents and employees are the ones that are our patrons. I think that is a phenomenal gesture and a beautiful thing for residents to take advantage of. They have all this at their fingertips to utilize. Absolutely. Can you tell me more of what's in the library? I'd be glad to. We have the latest in fiction, in mystery, in DVDs, in audiobooks, in CDs we have a fabulous collection of almost 500 of popular and classical. Um, I'm always very proud when I look at the New York Times bestseller list. Mm. Last week, we had every single fiction book they were showing. Wow. So we're definitely a current library. Now, Marilyn, you had briefly mentioned that it's run by residents, and you said there's a committee that chooses the selection of what's Correct. in the library. There's residents who check out the material for people who are borrowing. Um, Linda, can you tell me what that number is of volunteer hours from 2013 alone? I can tell you, 11,500 hours. And the volunteers who work the desk are dedicated. 
going a little bit more into this fund drive. Really, essentially, what does this do? What do donations do for the library? The donations are our only support for the library. They are the funds that we use all year round to purchase the books, the DVDs, the audiobooks. So any contribution is very important yeah, to maintaining, getting the best of the best. You had even mentioned before that some of the releases haven't even been put in stores yet. That's correct. And we have them in stock. We have them. The minute they are released to DVD, if the committee has decided it's something appropriate for Shell Point, we have it. You can't beat that, and this is a private library really funded by you all. So if you're a patron of the library or if you're interested in coming to the library and utilizing all their wonderful books, audiobooks, CDs, DVDs, please feel free to do so. I'll tell you the volunteers are wonderful. They'll treat you just like your family and you will have a wonderful experience. So please participate in the library fun drive. It takes place from March 5th through the 19th. You can contribute via internal mail. You can go to either service desk, whether it's on the island or at the Woodlands. Again, March 5th through the 19th, but please feel free to take advantage of the library all year round and continue support. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day. For weeks now, we've been anticipating the opening of the LifeQuest Aquatic Center. We've been teasing you with pictures like these, a time-lapse video of the construction process from the first piles of dirt in August last year to the road being paved for last week's grand opening event. Residents toured through all the new amenities, including the hot tub, the exercise pool, the lap pool, the new changing facilities, and more. Here's a look back. One important note about the Aquatic Center, because it's not yet fully open, you can't head down there in your swimsuit just yet. Until we get a certificate of occupancy, which should happen sometime this month, all aquatic exercise classes are staying in their current locations. We will inform you on Shell Point TV when the LifeQuest Aquatic Center opens for business 
and when new fitness schedules are released. Now it's time to cover all of Wednesday's happenings from resort services. Then stay tuned for your Academy news, menus, and Village Church connections. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm Leslie Brand, and I'm here with Bev Chanley. And we have a lot going on today since it is Ash Wednesday. So let's begin. Six o'clock, we're going to start with the Ash Wednesday at the chapel at the Village Church. It will be going on until one o'clock. 7.45 is the men's Bible study in the Osprey Room on the island. 8 o'clock, men's match play doubles tennis at the tennis courts. 8.45 is Lily and Company Jewelers are here for their weekly jewelry service at the Resident Activity Center. 8.45, the Resident Council will be in the Social Center. 9 o'clock, the Jurassic Travel will be here in the Egret Room. Watercolor Group with Phil Hilton at 9 o'clock in the Art Studio. Scrapbooking group will be held in the Tarpon Room at 9.15. 10 o'clock is a ladies' Bible study in the Osprey Room. Men's match play doubles tennis will be at 10 o'clock tennis, at the tennis courts at the Woodlands. Model Yacht Sailing Club is at the Commons Lake at 10.15. 11 o'clock, the Shell Point Garden Society meeting will be held in the Oak Room. 11.30 is the Health Connections, Agility and Flexibility it will also be held in the Health Club and that is currently full. All right, Bev, take it away. Thanks, Leslie. At 1 o'clock, we have chess. That'll be played in the library lounge on the island. 1.30, the model train room will be open for tours and that'll go till 3.30. At 1.45, we have a Health Connections class. This is Balance and Mobility Training Level 1 in the Health Club and that's currently full. At 2.30, it's time for Jazz and Stuff. They'll be in the Grand Cypress Room down at the Woodlands. 2.45, Healing Journey meets in the Chapel of the Village Church. We'll move to 3 o'clock where the Bible study will be in the King's Crown Community Room. Also at 3 o'clock, we have a Health Connections Pilates Stretch class in the Health Club. And we also have at 3 o'clock Memory Care Group at the third floor craft room of King's Crown. You do need to sign up for that. At 4.30, we have indoor bocce that's set up down in the health club. 5.45, the church choir rehearsal will be at the Village Church. And we round out the evening at 7.15 with prayer and praise in the Village Church. We're so glad you joined us today, and we will see you back here again tomorrow. Hi, I'm Terry Kolath with your Academy information for Wednesday. At 9.30, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain continues in the Sable Room at the Woodlands. At 9.45, we have a Google Maps and Google Earth class in the Computer Teaching Center on the island, and sign-up is required. At 1 o'clock, our Palette Knife Painting class continues in the Sable Room of the Woodlands. And at 1 o'clock, Intermediate Bridge begins in the Game Room at the Woodlands, and sign-up is required. At 1.45, Flash Drive Prep School takes place in the Computer Teaching Center on the island. Sign-up is required. We have a couple new classes for you tomorrow. Academy on the Go number 5, our educational field trip to Babcock Ranch. It's a swamp buggy tour. And then we also have another Shakespeare class with Ray Boyce of Rosemont, this time Shakespeare's Histories. And a coffee with a neighbor. This time, Sandy Ehlers of Eagles Preserve is our neighbor. Coffee with a Shell Point artist. Menus for Wednesday. In the Crystal Room, the Crystal Platter is fish cakes with red cabbage and brown rice pilaf. The dinner special is the pasta buffet for $12.95. And the soup of the day is chicken florentine. In the Allen Cafe for lunch on Wednesday, the special is a chicken tender sandwich with fries for $7.25. The dinner special is a tuna melt on an English muffin with fresh fruit for $8.25. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill are fried chicken for $12.95 or a grilled pork chop for $15.95. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. A warm welcome. Thank you for joining us for Village Church Connections. I'm also being joined today by Eleanor Peace, who directs our women's ministries at the Village Church. Welcome, Eleanor. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. We are here to talk about an event that is coming up in our community. That's right. These brochures have been circulating for a few weeks now, and I hope that they're getting to be real familiar to those of us around the community. But just in case somebody's missed it, 
Let's talk about the who, what, where, yeah. all of the important facts. Okay. So what is this event that we're talking about? This is a women's conference, and the, it will be held on Friday evening, April 4th, and we want to make sure that you know that Friday evening's meeting and performance is for men and women. And uh, then on Saturday is the actual women's conference with three sessions. We're having um, Bonnie Keene and Nan Gurley, who were with us last year, you may remember. They will do their performance on Friday night, and then on Saturday, Saturday, they will do Bible studies on women in the Bible. So April 4 and 5, it's a Friday night and Saturday. Uh, the Friday night is a 90-minute dramatic presentation musical performance that that captures 21 different women in the Bible in a very creative way. Men are invited, and we should mention it's a dessert buffet That's that right. night as yes. well. So yes. it's different than just a normal concert. And then Saturday is for women, three different sessions, a catered lunch, and we have kept the price as low as we possibly really? can because we want ladies to be able to take advantage of this mm -hmm. opportunity. Mm -hmm. So the Friday night, if they're only doing Friday night, is a $15 ticket, and that includes dessert. But the combination of Friday night and Saturday is $45, and I don't think we can beat that no, price. No. I, think, I think it's really wonderful. I think we're going to have a really good group of women. Well, okay, we yes. have been looking forward to this for a long time. You mentioned to me that we've been in the planning stages for 10 months. That's right. That's right. And we are excited. Yes, we are. And I know how excited you are because you've been a part of this from the very yes. beginning. Tell us what excites you about this opportunity. Well, first of all, I'm excited because I, with some friends of mine, uh, I met both Bonnie and Nan in person, and we had a meal together, and and they are just uh, they're just real ladies, and so that part of it makes me excited. I'll be seeing them again, but uh, if someone came to me, I think at the end of April or early May last year, and said we need to have some kind of women's uh, conference, and so that started the whole ball rolling, and. And that's another exciting part of it for me because we've been working with Terry Kolath and the Academy of Lifelong Learning and Don Boren, of course, and Lynn Schneider and Sue Stranahan, Dr. Stu, Sue. And I, I think that every meeting we'd make some uh, plan and we were building this whole program for 10 months and at every meeting at the end somebody would say, I'm really excited about this. And everybody else would say, yeah, I'm excited too. And I can't stress enough, we have not done this before. Right. We don't know when we'll do it again. Right. So this may be the opportunity to participate in something like this. And we certainly want to invite folks to join us for this event, April 4 and 5. To register, you can fill out one of these applications and get them into the Village Church office. You can call us uh, via phone and we can charge it to your Shell Point account as well. But please get your registration in and plan to join us April 4 and 5 for Women Who Dare to Believe. And thank you for joining us today for Village Church Connections. Have a great day. We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in tomorrow as we get some tips for entering our best snapshots in the Shell Point photo contest. We'll also talk to the Crystal Room's master chef, Brett Waite, to learn what he cooks at home. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Wednesday, March 5th. I'm Kara Middowing. From all of us here at Shell Point TV, we hope you have a great day and we'll see you again tomorrow.